Hello ladies and laddos. What I have for you today is my replica of the Santos Dumont 14 Bis, which some claim is the true first powered flight in human history. I was planning to build the right flyer, but it was just too hard for me. Uh, the right flyer is the generally accepted first part flight in human history. Yeah, there's a shot of the engine, which is um, a electric engine in case B. And I used some batteries to get that engine look. All right, and as you can see, we're on the landing strip right there. And we're going to start the engines now. There we go. Now, one thing that's a bit different about my take of it is that mine weighs nearly a ton. It weighs 932 kilograms. And the actual thing only weighed 290. So it's way heavier. As you can see, we have liftoff right there. And we immediately started to go a bit to the right, as you can see. That's because it's extremely unstable, and if you can steer it, I'll definitely give you 10 bucks. I've flown it many times, but I, I still can't get the hang of it. So I just flew it s as straight as possible. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's an absolute beast at gliding. We turned off the engine, um, and I checked the engine. It's completely off, but there's like no loss of uh, speed. So you can see me come down to the ground, and even whilst pulling up a bit, we're not losing any speed. We only lose speed if we touch the ground and brake. You can see those uh, rudders at the front that I use for pulling it up. And what's interesting about this plane, which is why I chose it, it's it's so like backwards, if you know what I mean. It it looks like a plane, but it looks like it's flying backwards. Um, the first time I saw it, I was not really sure which side was the front because the pilot is looking in a complete different direction than I thought he's going to look. But yeah, it's actually that side, which is very weird. After landing the plane, you can see good old Jeb get off of it and roll around a bit. And of course you can enter back into the seat and continue flying afterwards. So yeah, that was it. If you have any suggestions on what I should build next, just leave it in the comments down below and if I find a plane or ship I like in the comments. I'll get on working to replicate it in KSP. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. If so, why don't you just sub? I mean, it's a small thing for you and a big one for me. Alright guys, see you on the next one.